What I'm talking about is the power of story. You know, if, if I were to tell you a series of random events that weren't obeying the principles of story, uh, that scene, uh, that story wouldn't hit you right. I mean, you would think something's not right with that. What's going on with these experiences? Where is this person going? And you would be confused. And I wonder if we don't live like that sometimes, just sort of confused. Life just happens, the sun just comes up, then it comes down, then it comes up again, then it goes down, and we do things like we go to Bed Bath & Beyond, you know, and then the next day you're gonna do this other, and you just go, after a while you just go, this story is getting really, really boring. But it's not story, it's life. What if we changed some things? You know, story is, is so powerful. Story is the most powerful way to teach people anything. You can really teach a lot through story. In fact, in the Bible, the word that God gives to mankind, what you have is story after story after story after story after story after story. And when that story is done, there's another story, and then there's another story, and then there's another story. Even in the New Testament, there's a story in the subtext of what the author is trying to say. The whole book is an epic narrative. The gospel is actually called the greatest story ever told. And what's interesting, what's really interesting to me about scripture is that rarely does the, the author stop the story to say what the point of the story was. I mean, uh, we tend to do that on Sunday morning, but the author of the text doesn't feel the need to do it. We tend to come behind the story and say, well, here's what the story means. The five stones that David threw represent faith, hope, love, tithe, and tithe, and if you do that, <laughs> you can kill the Goliath in your life, you know? 